Okay guys, so old. That's how I feel. I feel old. I am old, I'm getting older. I'm getting older by the minute, which is kind of appropriate. Um, old, we saw, I think me and Nadia saw the teaser for this, which is based on a uh, graphic novel called, called Sandcastle, I think. Um, and it stars uh, Gail Garcia Bernal uh, and Vicky Cripes, or Creeps, Cripes, uh, I think we know her from um, Raised by Wolves. Uh, and Eliza Scanlon is in there, and Thomasin McKenzie, yet again, she's popping up everywhere. It's very, very much her year this year. Now, this is brought to us by, directed by M. Night Shyamalan who did things like The Sixth Sense. He was also behind uh, the Apple TV series, uh, The Servant, or Servant, which I thought the first season of that was excellent. I thought it was really good. Uh, and the second season just became ludicrous, more and more ludicrous, uh, to the point that I think Kiki and Annie Dyer finished it off, but me and Nadia and Maddie literally couldn't be drawn back to it. We loved the actors, we loved the build-up and everything, and then it just got a bit repetitive. So. I'm, the jury's a bit out with M. Night Shyamalan, for me. I mean, what else has he done? I, I always find his... I don't know why. Did he do the... Um, did he do those glass? That's right, split. I wasn't entirely convinced by uh, glass. Um, and I'm not entirely convinced by him as a director. I think he has some really good ideas, but I think in the execution, he almost doesn't know when to stop or he doesn't know how to kind of... I don't know, give it focus. So I've got high hopes for this film because this film, old, as I say, I think the concept behind it is quite an intriguing one, which is, as we saw from the teaser, that a family on a beach holiday or on a beach discover for whatever reason, I don't know if, I don't know if we could ever find out what the reason is, uh, that their lives have become sort of truncated into a 24 hour window. And so the, therefore the aging process speeds up and they are living their life in the fast lane, quite literally. So if you were old when you got to the beach, you're gonna probably die quite quickly. And if you're young when you got to the beach, you're gonna move through life pretty damn sharpish. Um, it's, it's one of those nice ideas, neat ideas that you might over a beer entertain the thought of, oh my God, imagine if our life sped up. Um, and it's clearly parked in a sort of strange supernatural realm um, where this kind of thing could happen. Uh, so let's check out the trailer. Let's check out, this is the first official trailer. We've watched the teaser, this is the trailer. Um, and the teaser was very niftily edited. And as an idea, I think it's really good. I think the, the challenge for a film like this is that it doesn't run out of steam very quickly. Uh, and as a lot of you often like to point out, we're reacting to the trailer, we're not reacting to the film, but we like to react honestly. So, you know, if things do or don't work or suggest that they might or might not work in the end film, we're gonna, we're gonna flag them up and talk about them. So let's check this out, old. No kids allowed on the beach? What? I'm not sure oh, oh, no! Oh, no! We never leave each other. Nothing separates us. Something's going to separate them. Are we there yet? You said five minutes. We've Stay all been there in the car and we were there kids. Let's just all start slowing down. Let's all just start slowing down. Do you get it? Because things are about to speed up. I guess we didn't know that. Wow. Do you believe I found this online? Why not? Secret of this. Whoa! Who would leave this? From the hotel! They're so rusted! What's happening? Found stuff from the hotel in the sand. A gun, a mobile phone. Can that happen? Seven years. But she just died. Wait, where are the kids? Front, Kara! Come here! Hey, have you seen my children? Mom? I'm I'm right here. <laughs> Dad, why are you looking at me like that? What's happening to us? My daughter just turned six two weeks ago. Mom! Whatever's happening to us is happening very fast. You have wrinkles. There's something wrong with this beach. What's happening? Mom! 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 I'm scared! We have to get off this beach! Keep all the black 
freaking out going this way. If she makes it to the ledge, she might have a chance. Why is she stopping? Why is she stopping? Here, I wake up. Wake up. They have to know what this place does. I don't know. You're lying. Look. What is that? A message. We never leave each other. Nothing separates us. We're connected to something bigger. Here for a reason. Well, that was an excellent trailer. Excellent trailer. Um, and you know, I was saying earlier, almost dismissively, it's gonna be a supernatural reason. Whatever the reason, these sorts of stories you're reminded as you watch that are really opportunities to, to meditate or think about some of our biggest concerns, worries and fears. And ageing and, and, and mortality and death and the speed with which life passes us by is something that I think we all are in many ways stymied by because we're all defined by it, aren't we? We know we're going to die. The one fact of the matter is we know we're going to die. We all experience life, I believe, at, in a, at a different speed and a different pace. We're all occupying this world at the same time, but I think a sense of time and the sense of aging and the, and the aging process is different for different people. So I think that was an excellently executed trailer. For me, it, it has, it will definitely make me go and see the film. That's the point of it. Um, I'm, I'm intrigued to know how they keep it going. I mean, I noticed that those moments towards the end, is it Rufus Sewell? We had to, as soon as the body starts to kind of do all a bit, was that it just decomposing with an edit sound or was that it being reanimated? I like this idea of trying to escape the beach, uh, even down to climbing up on the, on the side of the cliff, kind of reminded me of the thing that me and Maddie talk about a lot, which is when you play computer games, you're, you know, if you go to the edge of the created world, you start to kind of buffer, don't you, against the side of it. Um, and so this idea of trying to escape, and is there a, an escape route, and can they get out, and births happening, deaths happening, wrinkles developing. I mean, it's going to be a fascinating meditation on the aging process. Do you want to see it? Or is it a bit too discomforting for you? For more film and family fun, don't forget to click the subscribe button and make sure to click the bell to never miss an update.